Yeah, yeah. Alright, All right, guys, so we got a coral conservation fee. So that's what we pay for the mooring boy. Cost us 55 EC. There they were super nice, the conservation officer. They come by the tender. Oh, it's very rolly here. I hope that's a boat going by and not just the way the swell is. I know, we should throw out a stone anchor. <laughs> I did read it can be a bit rolly here though. It is amazing here, guys. So Brittany's doing an Instagram thing. Yeah, you just ruined it. Anyway, we're here, guys. This is it. So I think we're going to make some water, make some dinner. Get an early night because tomorrow we're going to have a big sail over to St. Vincent Grenadines, hey? A little bit nervous going to St. Vincent. I heard um, a few years back that somebody was actually killed there through a, in a break-in. That's pretty scary, but we got to go there, check the dog in, and then we'll uh, continue our journey down to Beckway and the Grenadines, which should be amazing. It's times like this that I'm very glad we have a dog, a big dog and a scary dog. It, what is it? Scary dog privilege? You just feel a little bit safer than everybody else. I see, that's terrible. Yeah, we'll make Jackson sleep outside the fourth thing tomorrow, eh? No way. <laughs> Bye St. Lucia, you beautiful bastard. What an epic anchorage that was. All right, you ready? Yes. I'm All excited right. to get to a new country and take Jackson for a walk. I know, it's safe here, poor buddy. We got three knots of wind, Brittany. Should we keep motoring? We're meant to have 14, so I don't know what's going on here. started picking up some speed when I went up there initially it wasn't so uh, quick and then <laughs> started picking up speed I was like, all right better go back all right guys here's land it was pretty calm initially but then the wind picked up just like a constant like you know 12 13 knots on the beam and we just kind of flew across at about five to I don't know, no, about six to seven knots of the wind on our beam. I'm expecting the wind's gonna die down now along this side of the island, but I don't know, we'll see if we'll keep the sails up. Hopefully we can at least keep up at about four knots or four and a half knots. We'll just coast down the end of this island here, turn around and check into a place called Blue Lagoon. Apparently that's where we gotta go for Jackson. So, all right, it's only about three hours away. St. Vinny and the Gritty. Very excited, it's hot. We've had a beautiful sail, I'm watching a movie. Yeah, so Brittany's like super excited. <laughs> what is it, mate? It's a bird. Is he tormenting you, buddy? <laughs> protected quite a bit now by the island and it's just the most beautiful sailing we've got the swell behind us the wind behind us we're just cruising along the Caribbean sailing is so much nicer Ryan and I were talking about it earlier about five hours into our sail already now we're in the shelter of the island so the next three hours which is what it's gonna take us to get to our anchorage is gonna be easy peasy yeah. Ryan's just putting the main sail away so we'll just sail with the head sail now That was our first experience. Yeah. Guy came out all the way out here and asked if we wanted to check into customs over there, but there's not really anything over there. And then he tried to sell us lobsters. <laughs> <laughs> 
Now we've got another boat rowing out to us, so we're just going around him to avoid him. You know what, Brittany? It's probably all innocent. We're just stressing out now. We've heard like mixed reviews about this place. Then people say when you go to St. Vincent the Grenadines, skip St. Vincent because it's very dangerous. We heard that with Albania, didn't we, hey? But we still went, we loved it. So, I don't know, I guess maybe there's this bad stigma of some places when stuff happens. Probably can't see it, it's a little boat out there. I just wanted to avoid him completely. Probably there's an old man fishing and we are like, oh my God! All right, we're pulling into St. Vincent. We're at a place nearby this place called Blue Lagoon. We're gonna see if we can anchor though. Blue Lagoon, which is where you check in. Apparently he's got like a real narrow entrance. We don't really wanna go there, so we're gonna try and hit this little anchorage up around the corner and they'll dig over in the morning and check in. All right, so we just dropped anchor behind a couple of catamarans where right before the Blue Lagoon, there's all the reviews say it's a super narrow, super dangerous entrance. And then the boat boys come out to guide you through and then a lot of people say they ask for a lot of money because then they kind of stick with you for the customs clearance and then they charge you like a brokerage fee for customs and some guys said it cost them like 150 US dollars or something. And I'm just like, I don't want any of that. I just want to come in here, just go to the customs, check in. And we already have to try and sort out this vet with the dog. So if we can anchor here for free, if the vet lets us down tomorrow, at least we're not paying to be in a marina or on a mooring boy. Try and get Jackson checked in so he can go for a run. Then we'll head down to Beckway because we just keep hearing things about this place being unsafe and people getting broken into and robbed and held up at gunpoint and stuff like that. It's kind of not very nice to read. Oh, all right guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm gonna go check in now, put the dinghy down and Jackson hasn't still gone for a walk and he's going nuts. I feel so bad. He thinks I'm getting my bag ready, I'm getting ready to go and he's all like super excited. He got so, he just hit your head mate, settle down. You still can't come for a walk man. I'm so, so sorry. Here at the marina and the customs office is just behind me there. As far as I know, I need to get a health certificate and then go to customs, but I can't find the health place. So when customs opens, which they should be now, I'll ask them. All right, got my hat off, glasses off, mask on, ready for customs. It's a uh, quarter to 10, they're still not open. They're meant to open at nine. <laughs> this is the Caribbean. Alright, well, we're done with immigration. I'm gonna come back because the customs officer is not gonna be here for a few hours. I guess this is how it works in uh, St. Vincent and Grenadines. Going back, and Brittany's in the water swimming. <laughs> oh. She said that she's uh, too scared to go away from the boat because I read up an article that there's sharks, great white sharks, and white tips in the Beckway Channel. So she's scared to like go away from the boat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, checked with immigration. They came like two hours after they open. Customs guy is not going to be there for like another two hours. So I come back to the boat. I had to go back in there, check in with customs next. And then I spoke to the vet because I'm like, hey guys, like we're here, what's up? They still haven't sent us the import permit. We're meant to get an import permit first. I don't know, I hope it's not an issue. We've got our export permit and everything's all sorted there from St. Lucia. So I just booked an appointment with the vet in the office and they're coming tomorrow at 8.30 in the morning. Are you excited, buddy? Jackson has got a call from the vet saying, we can come in half an hour. And I'm like, sweet. So now I'll go back with Jackson and uh, get him checked out with the vet, go to the customs. So the vet's like, you can bring him there in the dinghy, but don't let him go to shore until I get there. So I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, this is epic. This means that we can continue on to Beckway today. It's beautiful sailing weather out there. It's a little choppy, but there's no swell. Coley got about 20 knots out there. So we'll probably just beeline it straight across and uh, drop anchor, take Jackson to a beach, go for a run, do some cool stuff, go swimming, go snow, I don't know, I'm just excited, I'm just excited. You are gonna be so, so excited, Jackson. Hey, buddy. Oh, baby's Sit. finally gonna be free. Ah, uh, good boy, good boy. Yeah, I know you're up. Good boy, you're so excited. 
You're gonna wake uh, up the whole of St. Vincent. I get embarrassed like going to towns with him. That's why I always go to like private beaches because I just let him swim in. But I go to towns, he doesn't bark or anything. He just cries and people look at me like he's very husky with his howls. He's like, oh. <laughs> Alright, so right, this is gonna be nuts, guys. Jackson hasn't been off the boat in like five days. He's gonna go absolutely ballistic. I'm kind of nervous uh, meeting this lady. He's gonna be at the tender just going crazy barking. Uh -oh. So now Jake's gonna start crying and barking and fingers crossed he relaxes a little bit. Oh, the boy's back. How was it? Yeah, it was surprisingly really good, but um, it happened so quick that I didn't really have time to get the camera out. So I just kind of put it down because he let a couple little cries, like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and it's a marina, right? Like a little marina with like, it's basically just like a little finger dock. And that's all it is. And everyone's having lunch over looking on the balconies and stuff. So like, when I came in, he went, oh, oh, oh. It was like, it echoed through the whole marina and all eyes on me. And I'm like, oh shit. So I didn't get the camera out. I just made him sit and made him quiet and I was like shh and he stopped and then um, she scanned his microchip and she's like I won't take his temperature because it's too hot and then she's like I just want to feel him and um, I was like yeah I'll bring him out so I got him up on the on the pontoon and then he's all like run, running everywhere and I had to make him sit and then he laid down <laughs> I was like no no up so he was just sitting there and she just like felt around him and that and she's like look it's fine I can see he's healthy and I'm like yeah man I said he's probably the bloody healthiest dog in the whole country Said he's got... Well, he just had a vet check, yeah, like two days ago. Yeah, and she knew that. I was like, yeah, look, we just had all this stuff done the other day. And, and she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, look, it's fine. So here it is, buddy. Microchip canine German Shepherd Husky. What's up? This is you. Import certificate, buddy. <laughs> yeah, he's now legal. You know what? When people say about checking their dogs in, it's really not that hard. Okay? Like, it's actually... The only reason we got held up in St. Lucia was because um, we didn't have that heartworm certificate, right? Yeah. If we had had the heartworm certificate, the government vet would have came out straight away. It's just we have to rely on another vet to come out and, and do it. Apart from that, like, she literally, I called her up this morning and she came out by lunchtime. All right, cool. You're done. Punch no it. All right, Jackson's checked in. We're checked in. The boat's checked in. You ready, sexy legs? Show us some skin. Brittany's sitting down. She's not wearing any underwear in her little dress. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. Uh, I'm not allowed to film Brittany, guys, because she's not wearing underwear. Sorry about that. So you're going to see the face of the captain concentrating as he brings up anchor. What's up? Protected quite a bit from the island. <laughs> the head sails being blocked by the main sail, so we have to pull it in. Otherwise, the sails will just keep flapping. Oh no! I was just trying to get a time lapse of us going back to the marina, but I'm getting water all over the camera. <laughs> oh! I got it! I got it! <laughs> she had to edit that one out. Oh. When we do a video on Sunday, like I love writing back the comments. So like when we put a video up, we both just sit there with like our coffees in the morning. We're both like typing back on the computer. Oh wow, a bird just jumped in the water and caught a fish. He's coming this way. I wonder if he's still got it. Hey, what are you doing, mate? <laughs> oh, Jackson. You don't let anyone near us, do you? You just bark at them when they come by too close. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. All right, if you like the videos, please subscribe. Fell off the couch. <laughs> like and subscribe.